Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. <clears throat> I'm going to do the coffin mold. First thing, this is six ounces. I've I had it setting for about five minutes. Some of the bubbles are starting to rise. This is the shaved ice. Um, and it's by Stampendous. I've actually got it in a, you know, in a jar, pot, whatever you want to call it. But this was a gift sent to me from Cindy. I want to use some of this. I know it's going to sound like a weird combination. I'm in love with this glitter. Color is so, it's like a champagne. And then Scourge of My Universe. I'm going to use this orange glitter. And what I mean by Scourge of My Universe. Scourge. However you say it. I do not care for. This is an opalescent. I don't care for the green flash. I just really don't like it. But, since this is Halloween, um, we're going to go with it. I don't want too much, but I want enough. And because this is opalescent, it might take a little more. And this one I want to just dump it all in there but oh, I'm gonna resist hmm. all right I'm gonna do another one probably regret it but Because, of course, now I can see that that champagne is really taking over. I can hardly see the orange anymore. Hey. Okay, <laughs> well that's where we're going to start anyway. Okay, let's stir it up. Oh, I was right, that, that champagne is definitely taking over. That opalescent is floating oh wow that is really I wish I could tilt it on its side and just show you but I'm thinking it's gonna need a little bit of Color. Oh, but it's so pretty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around. This is from that, um, HTV Ron sent me that resin. The YRYMHT resin. And it had this weirdly enough you don't get that many orange mica powders that aren't too pastel that are that are the right 
shade for a pumpkin. And this one, called Orange Red, is really a nice pumpkin color. Now, it's got another one that's uh, what I was talking about, really light. Now, once again, resist the urge to put too much mica powder. Now, that uh, shaved ice, especially, is going to want to sink. So, I can let this set. It's not even getting warm yet. So, I can let this set for maybe another 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on it and keep checking it, but... I'm going to try to let it set for another 20 minutes to um, thicken up a bit so that resin doesn't sink. That is one of the most asked questions I see on the resin groups on Facebook is how can I keep my glitter from sinking? Well, it's super easy. You just have to have patience. And I realize that's something a lot of artists don't have. Patience. That's why I do six projects at one time. Because I don't have patience. <laughs> so while this is 20 minutes setting up, I'll work for 20 minutes on something else. Alright. Oh, this is going to be... This is really going to be pretty... Okay, I'm going to let it set. I'll be back. It's only been about 10 minutes, but it is beginning to get kind of warm. So, I do want to pour it. Okay, I did go back and add two more scoops each of the champagne and the orange. And then I added... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A scoop each and these are the macro pearls this is the copper and this is the pearl this one is actually from Christy Friesen and it's from the reflections collection more than I needed. Okay, I'm just going to stop right there. trying to have a look at the tattoos that I've got which are really just <laughs> cheap dollar store tattoos but I'm having trouble finding them I mean I 
know where they are, I just can't find the right tub. Okay, I really want to go around every corner on this. Because it is known to leave giant gaps. And if it does that, it won't fill in. <laughs> Whoa. Come on now. Get out. Get out. Okay, now. Try to walk that hair off. Now, you can see this is not full, and it needs to be level with that top surface of the mold. Because that's what allows that lid to set down in that groove on the coffin mold. Okay, looks like I got about two ounces left, a little, a little heavy two ounces. So you know what that means. I'm going to scoot these aside a little bit. If I can, carefully, carefully. Okay. What about that? I need a little drip. <laughs> Please don't let that one be as covered with dog hair. Okay, no. Now, I'm going to squirt a very light squirt of this is Alumalite's um, mold release. This one was actually um, I know it seems like I do a lot of orange ones, but these are popular. Oh, I just love it. I love the look of resin when you pour it. It actually, just on to me, it actually reminds me of making candy. I used to work in a nut and candy. Okay. <clears throat> They've cured up. I asked my husband to look at them and he said they didn't look pumpkin orange to him. Look pumpkin orange to me. I'm not, not sure. I always say he's colorblind, but. <clears throat> now, 
I get comments all the time. <clears throat> about why don't you use alcohol to release this I spray every time I remove these and clean them with silicone mold release and put them away <clears throat> alcohol I believe this is just my opinion <laughs> alcohol I believe does damage to your molds this mold right here and the first time I used it first time I demolded it I sprayed it with alcohol you can see how it, it literally took the shine right off the mold where I sprayed it. I'm not saying it'll happen to you. I'm not saying it happens every time. But it happened to this mold. And now every time I demold it, it's got one side that's not shiny. <laughs> so. That's just my opinion of what alcohol <laughs> does to your molds. I know lots of other people have different opinions. But that's why I don't use it. This mold. <laughs> this mold is extremely not flexible. <laughs> I have explained that more times than I care to repeat. It is not flexible. It's very thick. Okay. But once you get the outside edge turned back on itself, You've got it nearly licked, but <laughs> this is the hard part. You see where that mold is caught up between those crystal points. Nothing you do will, will make that any easier. No alcohol, no mold release for nothing it's just what happens so yes mold release spray alcohol whatever you use will I don't know what it'll do but because it's not a matter of the mold not sticking to the crystal that doesn't have a darn thing to do with it okay it is literally where this silicone goes down between those crystal points that's what makes it difficult to rem to, to demold that and the fact that it is such a thick non okay it is flexible but it is such a thick mold Okay. Once I got it released on this shorter side, it really will pop right out. But hear that. It is literally that thick of a mold that creates the problem. And, of course... This is not quite. Now, let's look. Got a lot of clip, lot, lot of green glean, a lot of green flash from that. A 
opalescent orange with a green flash sorry and then it's got this champagne gold And then the uh, <clears throat> shaved ice, which in this one you can't see very much because this is the last one we poured. So it probably didn't have a lot. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Man, now I want to do a. Now I want to do something with pumpkins, but I don't have a pumpkin mold, so. Ixnay that. I don't have a pumpkin mold, and I don't have a snowflake mold. So. Uh, not happy about that. It's my own fault. Every time I saw a snowflake, I thought, eh. It's almost Christmas time. Okay. Before I demold this. I'm going to demold this first. But before I demold this. <clears throat> if you followed the first part. When I ran that silicone tool up around inside that edge. To make sure we got all the corners. Which we did. This one right here had a tiny didn't go all the way through but it had a tiny little bubble so all I did was loosen this and pull this back and put literally a drop of UV resin and then put that corner back on okay and then I stuck it under the UV light. I did that for four minutes. I wanted to be sure it was cured. Okay. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Let's do this again, shall we? Loosen it all the way around again. All right. Now, this is where we started our repair. I did this one off camera. Okay. That little bubble right there. Okay, then we repaired that one right there. And that one right there. Very sparkly. May have possibly put too much glitter. Now, this is what I was talking about. About how you want that to have a, a rim. <laughs> you want that middle to be poured deeper. So that it will set down... on the mold like it's supposed to okay now this time it fits it almost fits that good I'm really, I'm actually very impressed at how orange, because it never does, this mica powder came out. It's been my opinion that even when they say orange, they come out way more copper. But this one was really 
nice and orange. Okay, so if you're looking for an orange, now I've, I'm sure I've got other mica powders that are orange, <laughs> but this cheaper uh, no name set that I got off of Amazon a few a few years back. Everything that is even closely related to an orange is a copper. It just is. There is nothing close to an orange. There's a yellow. Which when you... Put that on a mold, mix it in, it just looks gold. So, they're evidently not that highly uh, pigmented. P pigmented. That is orange. Orange, orange, orange. I do like orange. I do. Weirdly enough, in my glitter colors, orange is, the, orange is the color I'm always out of. I always literally use it down to the last, and I don't, don't know why. But, alright. I still feel like I need something. But evidently, that's going to be for another video. Huh. This one. We got an orange candle holder. And a sparkly orange coffin. Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching. Of course, all of the glitters, mica powders, alcohol inks. Now, this mica powder is not listed in my Amazon shop if you will remember it is from that set of uh, resin to try out and these are the mica powders they came with this is the orange red is the one that I used. Okay. But the glitters, um, the glitters are probably listed. Although they may not still be available. <laughs> so I'm not really sure why I'm saying that. But anyway. Any glitters would work. My attempt here. Was just to show you. How. Varied these glitters are. But they do still work with our Halloween theme. That green flash off of that opalescent glitter just goes right along with our Halloween. And then the champagne. Oh, it's beautiful. Now that green flash opalescent glitter does have a color shift besides just the orange to green it actually has a peacock kind of blue when you turn it just right it's really pretty okay everybody 
thank you so much for watching. Like I'm doing a magic wish. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> um, all everything is listed in my Amazon shop that I've used, other than the mica powder. <laughs> but like I said, I'm sure there are other orange mica powders, and I even have other orange mica powders. I just haven't used them evidently. <clears throat> I've got an uh, Amazon wish list, a buy me a coffee link, a Facebook, an Instagram, all that's listed below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that subscribe button is somewhere. Um, a thumbs up, and bye for now.